In this exercise, we're going to implement permissions in the web module. Our objectives will be to define portlet permissions, define the permissions definition location, implement the top level permission resource permission checker class, implement the model resource permission checker class, implement permission checking in the JSP files, implement permission checking in the management toolbar, and finally, testing the application. The way we'll do that, we'll define the permissions, we'll define the permissions definition location, we'll implement top level resource permission checker class, we'll implement the model resource permission checking, we'll implement the model resource permission checker class, we'll implement permission checking within our GSP files, We'll implement permission checking in the management toolbar. And finally, we'll test out the application within the UI. Here we are back in LifeRay Developer Studio. We'll go ahead and go over to our web module, our gradebook web module, that is. And within our source main resources folder, we're going to create a folder called resource actions much like we did for the service module. Again, we'll call that resource dash actions. And just like we did for our service module, we'll go ahead and create a default.xml within that folder. And we'll implement according to our code snippet. Go ahead and save that file. We're next going to create a portlet.properties file. Within the resources folder. And we'll implement that using the code snippet in your exercise instructions. Go ahead and save that. Uh, next, we'll go ahead and create a new package in the source main Java folder. And that package is going to be called com.liferay.training.gradebook.web.internal.security dot permission dot resource
And within that package, we'll go ahead and create a new class. And we'll call that class assignment top level permission. And we'll implement according to our code snippet. Make sure we save that file. So next we're gonna create a, another class within that package. And that class we're gonna call assignment permission. And we'll implement that according to the code snippet. and make sure we save that. So we'll go ahead and put our entity permission checking object into the request attributes of our main view so that it can be used in the JSP files. So we'll go ahead and open our view assignments MVC render command. And we'll add a service reference for the permission checker and add the checker into the request attributes in the render method. So we'll go ahead and implement that according to our code snippets. Make sure we save that. Now, so far, everybody has been able to see the assignment actions menu. Now we'll go ahead and hide them from unauthorized users. We'll also add an option to manage entity permissions. And for that purpose, we'll use the Liferay security tag library. So we'll go ahead and open up our init.jsp. And we'll add the liferay security tag lib within that file. So next we're going to go ahead and open up our entry actions.jsp file. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna wrap all the actions with permission checks so that only authorized users can access the functions and add a permissions menu option. So we'll go ahead and replace the contents of the file with uh, our code snippet here.
and go ahead and save that file. So the last thing we need to do is hide the plus button on the management toolbar for adding assignments. We'll add a permission check to the management toolbar backing class. So we'll go ahead and open up the assignments management toolbar display context Java class. And we'll implement permission checking in the get creation menu method according to our code snippet. save, and resolve the missing imports. At this point, we'll go ahead and go test this in our UI. Here we are back in the UI. And now that we've made those changes to the web module, we're going to go ahead and sign out as our administrative user. And you can see that as a guest, I no longer have access to that uh, add assignment icon. So I'll go ahead and sign in as a new user that I've created uh, that just has the user role, uh, James Murray. So. I'll go ahead and sign in as him, James dot Murray. Put in his password. And as you can see, with just the user role, uh, James also does not have permission to add uh, assignments. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and give James the ability to add entries. So we'll need to re-log in as our administrative user. Mine is simply test at lifery.com. we're going to go up to the global menu, uh, specifically the control panel, and we're going to go down here to roles. So uh, we'll find the user role, and we're going to go ahead and edit that. We're going to go to define permissions, and we're going to come down here To applications and find our gradebook application. So we'll go ahead and add some resource permissions here. We're going to give them the ability to add submissions, delete submissions, and edit submissions. as well as the ability to view and view submissions and add entries. So we'll click save. Navigate back to our site and we'll re-log in as James. As you can see, that plus button has uh, reappeared. 
as I now have the permission to add new assignments. And since I have that permission, you can see it actually joins the assignment list. Now I also have the ability to go in and edit that assignment, as well as delete it if I wanted to. There we go. Now we have implemented permissions for our gradebook module.